Hello students, in the example 3 part of chapter 7, example 3. A person learned 100 words for an English test. The number of words the person remember key days after learning is given by W of T is equal to 100 into 1 minus 0.1 T the whole square. 0 less than or equal to T less than or equal to 10. What is the rate at which the person forgets the word two days after learning? memory capacity functions two days the words on the number of concept. Okay, it is zero to ten days learning process So number first DW by DT can be DW by DT differentiate one row, hundred is a constant. This is the X power and formula two trend level one minus point one. 0 0.1 t the whole to the power 1 2 la one number kami pannirvom into ulla ulla differentiation one la differentiate panna 0 by 0.1 t differentiate panna 0.1 okay so this is equal to 200 into 0 0.1 something more in kena irukum minus 20 minus 20 into 1 minus 0 0.1 t ipo dw by dt at t is equal to 2 the calculation of a order. Here, minus 20 into 1 minus 0.2. 1 minus 0.2 is equal to minus 20 into 0.8. This is the multiple answer minus 16. So, our learn for the person forgets at the rate of 16 words after two days of study. At the rate of the you know, 16 words of the mother, minus 16 and nala per good. The words they will go to per good in a word for a nala in a proper value minus four. The person the person per At the rate of at the rate of sixteen words, the further singer and all the put up the negative put up the answer and minus one of them, but in any word and the sixteen words after two days of studying. After two days of studying, that's clear. Next example four. The particle you so that the distance root is according to the law S of T. According to the law S of T, they are given as T cube by three minus T square plus three. At what time the velocity and acceleration are zero? At what time the velocity and acceleration are zero? So we have first velocity. Velocity ds by dt differentiation. T cube differentiation d t square. T square differentiation 2t. D differentiation zero constant. Yeah. T square minus 2t. This is our velocity. Acceleration is dv by dt dv by dt is equal to 2t minus 2. Ipo, at what time the velocity in acceleration will be 0? So, velocity is equal to 0. Again, we have time control. t square minus 2t equal to 0. t into t minus 2. t a formula value at the t minus 2 equal 0. So, t is equal to 0, 2 seconds. At 0, 2 seconds, the velocity will be 0. And then the acceleration 0. 2t minus 2 equal to 0. 2t equal to 2. t is equal to 1 second. t is equal to 1 second. So at 1 second, acceleration will be equal to 0. This is our concept. Okay. Example 3, example 4. Next, example 5. Example 5 in a given Parina, the particle. The 
particle is fixed straight up from the ground to reach the height of s p t t second. Yes, sir. When the angle of the angle, p t l of the angle, time of the t or the seconds of the angle. Okay. Where s of t is given by s of t equal to one twenty eight t minus sixteen t square. This is given. In the case of the angle, compute the maximum height of the particle reached. So first is subdivision, maximum height reach. So velocity as usual can be here. Velocity ds by dt equal to 128 minus 32t. So at maximum height condition is velocity equal to 0. So 128 minus 32t equal to 0. So 32t equal to 128. So, T is equal to 128 minus 32. Answer 4 seconds. So, and the particle, maximum height of each particle, every time it is 4 seconds. But now, maximum height is equal to So, what is our maximum height? Maximum height of the and the yes. First, you give and the yes. I will be T to the other 4 to the other. In the other, T is going to be 4 to the other. So, 128 into 4 minus 16 into 4 square. Okay. So, here 5, 12 minus 16 into 16, 2 root to 6. The answer is 2 root to 6 feet. Maximum height is 4 seconds. So they will reach out to 2 root to 6 feet. Okay. Second subdivision in the Ketanga Bin Pata. What is the velocity when the particle hits the ground? So, when the particle hits the ground, distance zero. Yeah, particle hits the ground, condition distance is equal to zero. Therefore, S is equal to zero. S is equal to zero means 128T minus 16T square is equal to zero. So, in here, we T a common at the same time. After T is zero, we have the initial velocity. So, we have to do Equal to the parma, the 16 t square for the pokey and the t square and one by this year cancel for the one t is cancelled. So now our t is equal to 128 by 16, that is 8 times 16 is 128. So t is equal to 8 seconds. So he let round the reach or give the time out the 8 seconds. So at this 8 seconds, I'm going to get the velocity. What is that velocity? Actually, download elasticity. Download elasticity number is equal to one negative number. Answer. Okay. Yeah. So, when I come to begin, velocity at t is equal to eight seconds. First, the velocity one twenty eight minus thirty two t is equal. I am going to apply one. I am thirty two into eight. So, this is equal to one twenty eight minus two fifty six. That is equal to minus one twenty eight feet per second. 128 feet per second. Yeah, negative level is downward velocity. And all negative level. When the particle hits the ground at t is equal to 8 second, the velocity at which it hits the ground is 128 feet per second. Okay. Yeah? Students, in the video, please subscribe and press the bell icon. 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 Okay. Yeah? Thank you.